Before their date with Prince Harry, Meghan Markle asked Lizzie Cundy to get her on Made in Chelsea. Today, Lizzie Cundy made an appearance on GB News and described how Meghan Markle contacted her about a role in Made in Chelsea. When Meghan Markle visited Britain in search of a part in Made in Chelsea, according to Lizzie Cundy, she allegedly volunteered to help. I was friends with Meghan for a time, and I really got along with her, the former wag Lizzie told GB News. A friend asked me to watch over her at a charity event, and I was like, who is this woman? Indeed, nobody knew who she was. She explained to Nana Accua that she desired a boyfriend, entry into the entertainment industry, employment in British television, and participation in the Made in Chelsea television program. So I tried to help, saying, hey, if I can help you, I would. Indeed, I tried to set her up with former Chelsea star Ashley Cole, but she wasn't his thing. She wanted to remain in Great Britain, so I promised to try to set her up with a couple guys. She wished to date a British man. She ultimately obtained that one and won the jackpot, regarding Meghan's future spouse, Prince Harry, Lizzie joked. After Daily Mail writer Katie Hopkins claimed Meghan had revealed her emails the former England star had sent to the Suits actress, Lizzie made her allegations. She penned. Do you know this guy, Ashley Cole? Meghan said, pointing to a picture of a handsome man on her Twitter account, while pulling out an iPhone from her handbag. You bet, I replied coolly. He wants to go on a date while I'm over here in London, she added. How do you feel? Do you recognize him? Ashley was a Chelsea player at the time and made about £100,000 per week. He was, however, well known in the UK as Cheryl's former husband, the voice of Girls Aloud. According to rumors, Meghan decided not to meet up with the footballer after learning about his history. She allegedly stated, A few of my pals advised me to avoid him as well. I'll probably leave it be. At the time, Meghan was 32 and had recently through a traumatic divorce from her first husband, Trevor Engelson. In an effort to be mentioned in the media on the other side of the pond, she reportedly met with UK journalists. She later met Prince Harry at Soho House in 2016 during a blind date, and the two later were married in 2018. Since then, they have received two children. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, a daughter, and Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, a son. They relocated their family to the United States in 2020, after leaving their positions as senior members of the royal family in another news. As a stunning insult, Sarah Ferguson admits she wasn't invited to King Charles's coronation. At a gathering on Monday night in New York, Sarah Ferguson discussed her most recent book and her lingering royal ties. The Duchess of York admitted openly that she hasn't yet gotten an invitation to King Charles, her former brother-in-law, for his coronation. A most fascinating lady author Sarah, widely known as Fergie to friends and fans, took center stage on Monday night when she participated in a one-on-one -on -one interview with Samantha Berry from Glamour magazine as part of the promotion tour. Fergie discussed her close relationship with the late queen and how she is caring for her two remaining gorgeous during the 92 NY event. But despite her close friendship with Elizabeth II, Sarah doesn't appear to have received a coronation invitation. The Duchess quipped that it's TBD abbreviation for to be decided or to be determined whether she will actually end up attending when asked if she had managed to acquire an invitation for the historic event. Fergie responded when asked if she had any plans to attend. The invitations have not yet been sent. Has it been? The ex-wife of Prince Andrew seems unconcerned by the omission as she stated. I've come to the conclusion that attending a coronation is the best part of being a Brit.